Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got look, we got the rappers behaving themselves once again, man. It's, it's look, look, man, look. I, you know what? I think I might be working against us, man. Yeah, you know I'm saying I've been over here on Celeb Source trying to promote peace and whatnot. You follow what I'm saying, man? You like this is unorthodox. Yeah, whatever. We trying to promote peace over here, so I think I'm working against my own bag. You follow what I'm saying? Man, where's Steve Harvey at? I need to listen to what Steve Harvey said again from yesterday's video. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm working against my own bag promoting peace. When the rappers crash out, the bloggers... The, the bloggers, we go, we, they go insane for us. Anyway, look, look, look. We got a lot to cover here, man. Apparently, um, uh... We got Tony Ayo being attacked by K9, man. Princess Kate with a strong message, man. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta get that to you. All right, we got Quavo on deck. Drake and Kendrick Lamar going to do with the back and forth. Beyonce uh, 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 shooting black back. Black. Beyonce shooting back at Erica, man. It's insane. Let's get right to it. Setting you off with your boy Vladimir Putin. You know what I'm saying? Vladimir. All right, look, 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 look. Look, Vladimir got a strong message for y'all, okay? He said the Europeans have been... He said the Europeans have been hiding this top secret information from you and he wants to let you know what he has found out. Let me see if I can pull it up, okay? He said that he's going to reveal a wor to the world a secret that Europeans have been hiding from Africans for more than a millennium, okay? And this is the secret. Take a look. Today... Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for more than a millennium that Jesus was black. Yo, this guy right here, he's revealing the secret that Jesus was black. We over here, all the black people are like, Vladimir, Vladimir, that ain't a secret, bruh. But you got to really think about what Vladimir is attempting to do here, man. Vladimir, you think you slick, Vladimir, all right? He's over here trying he trying to start a race war between the Europeans and the Africans, man. You know what I'm saying? Afri Africa, we, we already knew that. Europeans are going to be oh, how dare he say that Jesus was, was, they probably can't even bring themselves to say it. Like, he was, he was, they're probably losing their minds over there. And Vladimir just sitting back, watching, waiting for the fireworks to go off. Over here, and we, we saw what you did with our elections, Vladimir, okay? But we're going to be focused over here. We already knew Jesus was black. Don't no one in America still think Jesus is white. If there is an American out there that still thinks Jesus is a white man, I mean, that is a person that is like, I, I don't even want to disrespect them. They're just super uneducated at this point. There is no way on God's green earth that there's an American running around with sense and knowledge that thinks that Jesus was a white guy who like the man was born in <sighs> um yeah Jesus of Nazareth was definitely not he wasn't he wasn't he was not he was saying if anything can we say he's Syrian he would be like Syrian let me type it in where was Jesus born you can just do a simple google search it'll say he was born in bethlehem south of jerusalem let me just type in where is bethlehem okay you know what it says bethlehem is a city on the west bank uh, south, uh, uh, west bank of the state of palestine 10 kilometers south of jerusalem all right like why would you possibly think you know what i mean and it ain't like it's not like the, the the Russian Jews that, you know what I mean? Like, we're not talking about that kind of Jewish. It's not the Russian Jews, right? It's like olive complexion Jews, okay? Um, you know what I'm saying? And we knew that the Nazarenes, I know they had long hair, you know what I mean? You're like, so was it dreadlocks or not? I don't know. And, and, and don't think, oh, hair like wool and all this other stuff. That's his glorified state in Revelation 1, man. Get it together, all right? It's not, you know what I'm saying? y'all Because it also says, like, eyes like fire. What you mean? You think, like, yellow? Feet bronze. This is glorified state, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, yeah, 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 I think he, I mean, clearly he wasn't bad. I mean, Putin's color. <laughs> and, 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 and please, it's not, Putin is not getting saved at this point. At least he could, maybe, but I don't think he's getting saved. It'd be interesting if Vladimir Putin got saved, though. My bad. Let me, let me, oh, let me keep it going, okay? Uh, Because that's not what I'm, I meant to, let me ask you a question. You afraid of dogs? If you walk outside your house right now and a dog came running up to you, you know what I'm saying? You going to bend down and pet it or you going to run? See, most times 
the situation, you like, you like, look. <laughs> Those of you that are white, like, yeah, pet it. It's 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 a dog. You know what I'm saying? Pet it, kiss it, kiss it in the mouth, tongue kiss it. <laughs> We're not all white people, but a lot of white people will try to tongue kiss a dog. But um, uh, you like, oh wow, that's mad racist. I'm just telling you what I seen, bro. Don't even come out over here with all of that racism stuff. I'm not racist. I don't believe one race is superior to another. Okay? We all we all bleed red. Okay? I look. I don't even see color. All right, look, look. <laughs> Uh, which is a very offensive thing to say. Don't ever say that to anybody. If you're saying you don't see color, you're racist. Now, uh, anyway, look, look, look. most of the time when, 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 when people see dogs run up to them, it plays out like this. So how does it play out? They got a dog in their car, bro. Look, 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 why did everybody run? The dog just wanted to play. Y'all tripping. The white people are like, look, it's friendly. It's friendly. Anyway, look, 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 look. Um, take a look at this friendly dog that um, met Tony Yayo. Take a look at the friendly dog and Tony Yayo. Oh, shit, <laughs> 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 tripping for, bro? Dog, just a few seconds, beat up. Oh, Oh, shit. Please, please. All right, hold, stand still. Stand still. What you say, Mike? Yo, bro, I thought it was supposed to. Yo, he gone. Yo. Shit. Hey, yo, I feel like I really saw the fear in his eyes. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what you was in the suit for, bro. Or maybe. The suit is supposed to protect you, but he's like, yo, I really, really did feel. You know what I'm saying? The teeth go, going through. Like, it's going through. It penetrated. It went through. It went through. His teeth is going through. Um, I would hope that it was, like, cushion, and then there was, like, some kind of plastic exterior that you couldn't. Maybe he just felt the pressure. Sometimes it could be the fear. Maybe the fear really gripped Tony Ayo, and he started to lose a doodle on himself a little bit, because I would have. You know what I'm saying? Some people just don't feel good about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, shout out to Tony Ayo for actually keeping his cool. Because had that been me, I'd have been, oh, they'd have been like, ooh, what's that smell? They'd have been looking around, see the dog pooped, and it would have been me. Okay? Tony Ayo is a real one for doing that, man. Well, meanwhile, 50 reposted it, and he's busting out laughing with the emojis, which I 100% I expect. Uh, what's my time looking like, man? This is crazy. Today's video is off the rails already. Um, so, look, look, look. Prayers up for Princess Kate, okay? Um, they, they've been they've been um, showing images of Princess Kate. They've been looking at they've been looking at different images of her, and they were like, "Yo, man, this is AI. This is not really the princess. What's happened to the princess?" Da 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 da. da. And they damn near started talking crazy about her. So she has finally come out to say this. And I look, I wouldn't be a news source if I didn't give you this information. Take a look at what she had to say. It's kind of traumatizing. We uh, prayers up for her. Take a listen. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful, However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be OK. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. 
We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. You see that? You see, y'all done bullied her into making this damn video. Y'all, oh, oh, she's hiding. She's doing it. She's doing it. She's sleeping with a black guy. Oh, she's doing all this stuff y'all talking about and kind of find out she got cancer. See, um, this is why we got to be careful. Like when you don't see people, man, you don't know what they're going through, man. Real talk, though. Real talk, though. Like when we don't see, you know what I'm saying? When you don't see people and they missing an action, you don't really don't know what they're going through. You can start talking crazy about them. And then you find out that, oh, they sick. You know what I'm saying? Now, some of y'all might be like, I don't care if they sick and not everybody gets sick. That's human. I'm just saying, man, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what she got going on. Prayers up for her and her family, man. Cancer's horrible. And here's the thing, you know, you know cancer's horrible because you know some, you know some folks that have dealt with cancer. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all may, may be, you know what I'm saying, dealing with the cancer monster right now, man. So prayers up for her, prayers up for her family. That's scary, man. You know what I'm saying? And then chemo, I heard chemo's horrible, man. I know, look, I know folks, I got family that I had to go through chemo, man. That joint's terrible, man. And, um, uh, you know, cancer, man, man, I just wish, and you know what, what really ticks me off though, man, and you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't know this. I don't know this 100%. So I suspect this, but I'm just throwing this out of here, letting you know, this is not a hundred percent fact or verified, although a lot of y'all might verify it, but I really, really fully, fully believe that we can, we probably really have a medication that can really get rid of the cancer thing. You know what I'm saying? Like we probably have something like that, that exists, but, and, and I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past pharmaceutical companies to keep that information from you because they make more money selling you drugs and, and giving you chemo and stuff like that i wouldn't put it past folks and do stuff like that this world man that greed boy that 10 commit that 10th commandment is there for a reason man that greed is just plunge this world into insanity man you know what i'm saying uh where we at over here man oh oh oh, oh let me give you this one let me give you this one before shout outs um we done caught another artist doing the right damn thing with their paper, okay? Migos artist Quavo is launching a program called the Spark Grants Initiative to award 10 different organizations with $10,000 each to help minimize gun violence and spread awareness around Atlanta. Now, um, uh, that, that's, you said, so 10 different organizations, $10,000. How much money is that, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, that's not, come on, 100,000? You, you know what I mean? Like, that's a lot of money for a lot of people. That's a lot of money. Okay? You, you, you're you going to donate 10000 to 10 different... That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, and spread... A, and help minimize gun violence and spread awareness around Atlanta. Now, I went to the um, comment section because I was like, I'm sure the comment section is going to be nice and peaceful. Ooh, man. Okay? Folks was like, look, that joint was like, but 90% of the raps that he does are about murder. You know what I'm saying? So they was like, so how's that help? You know what I'm saying? Don't he run around toting guns? I mean, like, I mean, look, yeah, it's a little bit inconsistent, but it's better than nothing, right? Like, he could have just been like, yeah, F all that. Like, yeah, gun more gun violence. So he's trying to, he's trying to undo, maybe he's trying to balance the scales a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like, yeah, but if Satan cast out Satan, how's his kingdom going to stand? You can't get rid of demons using demons. Think. Okay, that's true. That's true. I was watching a show yesterday. The lady had spirits in her house. Demon. It was a show, right? They, I, like, I like to watch little documentary shows about... And, and the documentary shows, they're always the same. They're always the same. These people got spirits in their house. They got demons in their house. They got shadows in their house. What do they do? They break out the crystals. They break out the sage. They break out the incense. They break out the damn psychics. They get mediums in there. Okay? But the, but the Satan is not going to cast out. Satan, no, he ain't going to cast out his buddy. That's his boy. Why would Satan get rid of his boy? That's up in your crib messing around, stuff like that. He going to tell you, nah, nah, go to your crystals. Go to your astrology and stuff like that. What's your sign? You know what I'm saying? The devil know what he's doing. What's your sign? You know what I'm saying? My bad, my bad. So listen, look, Satan ain't going to cast out Satan. Okay? Real talk. Okay? Let's be consistent here. Look, it don't make sense. To build something against gun violence... Then destroy it with the promotion or glorification of gun violence in your music. 
See, people don't like inconsistency. So when they see Quavo is donating against gun violence, but then they look at his music, which looks like it promotes that. You're like, why you say looks like? I'm just saying, I'm just trying to be as fair as possible. You're like, when well, you ain't heard the man's music, can I finish? Look, 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 look. We want to um, be, we want to see consistency. and We want to be consistent um, with ourselves through our actions, okay? It makes sense for a bad tree to produce bad fruit and a good tree to produce good fruit. Imagine, look, imagine going to a clean and pristine looking water fountain, right? And then when you press the button, dumpster juice comes out. You know what I'm saying? You're like, dumpster juice? You, you heard me. Dumpster juice, fam. You know, you know, dumpsters got the juice at the bottom. You like how how how? You like how do you know? I'm saying like you know you ain't never seen the, the the garbage trucks and they flip over the dumpster and then all the garbage come out and then you see the juice come following it. The dumpster juice. Imagine if you went to go drink out the water fountain and dumpster juice came out. You like can we go to our shout outs? Yeah 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 yeah. I got you on the shout outs. Let's see who we got over here, man. Who we shouting out today? Uh, this is very rainy where I'm at, but I, I'm actually in a good mood. You know why I'm in a good mood? Because, uh, look, I'm in such a good, I should post my photo. No, 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 let me not do that. Let me, let, let's, let we go. Check this out. Shout out to Ball of My man said, yo, the ant that found the food travels back down the path and let those coming up the path know there's more food on the spot. There on the spot. Yeah, yeah, real talk. Ball of Splack is talking about the fact that I said in the, the other video, I asked, I asked uh, uh, my AI, my trusty AI, I, and it be on point too. Don't be dissing my AI neither. You know what I'm saying? During the AI revolution, we both coming for your ass. So you better, you better watch your mouth when you talk about AI. Listen, I asked the AI like, yo, when the ants travel in a line in opposite directions, a line of ants going against another line of ants in, in the opposite directions, why they always look like they touching each other, like they giving each other high fives? And the AI was like, they just relaying information about the direction that they going and the obstacles that they face. You know what I'm saying? So there's an ant like, yo. Back there, there's a rock back there, and the other one, the next one behind him, like yo, yo, watch out for that rock. And the other one behind him, like yo, man, it's some kind of boulder back there. And another one's like, yo, man, I, cause there's some food back there, and we going that way. You know what I'm saying? Keep going that way, everybody. We going that way. Watch out for the rock over there, and there's a couple of humans over there. They're ugly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Paula Collins. She said, yo, I said it once. I'm gonna say it again. I love you. Um, I love you and the guys keep on keeping on with your sense of humor. We loves it over here and your life is so intoxicating. You think so, Paula Collins? I appreciate that, man. You know, Paula, Paula you, you got eight kids, man, but I feel like you hitting on me. Listen, she said, haters will be hating and you know what it does. It makes you more powerful and gets you more coverage. And I love to put my two cents in whenever I look at you because you all positive, uh, uh, full of prayers, um, uh, pr prayers for you. And, uh, she said, uh, you know, we love it. Single, and she said, I love it. Correction. We love it. Single mom of eight from H-Town. Shout out to Paula Collins and her lovely kids, man. I do appreciate that, man. Chris Ingebrigtsen, man. One of the first people I ever seen comment on this channel, man. Chris Ingebrigtsen, man. Shout out to my man. He's still holding us down four years in, man. I really do appreciate your loyalty, man, dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my man said a big shout out to Celeb Source for the good work that is among my videos that I look forward to watching all day, every day. Yeah, man. Shout out to you, man. Big dog. Yo, man. Um... Yo, shout out to all my day ones out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Raul's Aquatics and Reptile, Kenneth Cole, holding it down, man. The face, Chris Inga Bricks in, man. The lovely Red. You know what I mean? Ninja Bay, Rude Girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get right back to it. Red this bad boy up, man. Uh, remember, remember I told you that I leave these artists to, to, to misbehave? Kendrick Lamar is like, I got you covered. Now, now look, before I go into the Kendrick Lamar, okay, so he had the song called Like That. Uh, he just it just dropped. I think he did a song with Future. Apparently, um, him and Future are dissing somebody, and they dissing somebody hard. Future talk about ninjas is pillow talking. Future said ninjas is pillow talking, and Kendrick Lamar went all the way in. Now, before I even go into Kendrick, I am going to play a clip that Ebro posted, right? This is Drake um, on Kendrick Lamar. Sauce, this is clip two, three, five, six, and eight. Take a listen. And and, and consistency is it's been one album. Consistency is like you need more than one album. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's time to show and prove. And I look forward to seeing what he does, man. He's fucking super talented. So yeah. Cheers to Kendrick Lamar. All right. No, and like no, no, no. I, no, now mind you, it'll go on and complex and rap radar, give mm -hmm. it like verse of the millennium and all that shit or whatever. <laughs> but like, I'm just saying, it's like, you know, um, 
I remember like um, somebody like asking me, you know, or maybe it was you that was like, is Kendrick Lamar your biggest competition like in this generation or whatever? Yeah. And I think that Kendrick has like the utmost potential, man. Like, you know, I see Kendrick tomorrow, I'm gonna dap him. I didn't feel a way about that verse. I get it. I get the moment. Like, you know, he's a good guy. And, and, and like, I know that that verse had no malice behind it because I saw him five days later at the VMAs and it was all love. So it's like, he didn't come on there on some wild, like, yeah, I'm in New York, fuck everybody, don't look at me. Now. <laughs> like, I'm the king. So it, it was, nah, I, I feel like that that's that's it. It's like, you know, he's an, he's the new guy to love. And of course, I mean, rightfully so, he's super talented, you know, but thank you. But he's, he's, <laughs> but he's like, you know, he is the underdog that's extremely hungry, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and he's doing his thing really well. Um, and that verse was, he's giving people like moments, you know, like that, that verse was a, a moment to talk about. Um, are you listening to it now at this point in time? Okay. And then, <laughs> but it was, it was real cool for like, you know, a couple of weeks. But like, if I asked you, for example, like, how does that verse start? No. <laughs> no, do you remember? <laughs> you know, it was it was one of those things it's like I almost wish he had come in there on that shit because I kinda lost like a little respect for the sentiment of the verse. If it's really fuck everybody, then it needs to be fuck everybody. It just can't be halfway for the sake of the people. But you know what I'm saying? Like for real, that's just how I feel. Yeah. But but anyway, like, you know, um I, I still like uh, <laughs> When it comes to competition, I'm just I'm, I'm more worried about consistency. I'm more worried about bodies of work. I'm talking about hit records. I'm talking about to, I'm to, I'm basically talking about like you know there's one guy who's up every night thinking about how to get better and how to do things bigger. And you know that's Kanye West. He's like the, you know he's like he's always he's always gonna be he's always gonna be the guy that's trying to outthink and outdo you know everybody. So for me. That that would be like you know that's my that's my guy that I aspire to surpass you know what I mean and and and, and as far as Kendrick goes like I can't wait to see what he does because now it's time now that was an old video that Drake where Drake had some things to say about Kendrick I guess Kendrick was relatively new on the scene compared to Drake Drake was essentially saying we ain't, he ain't even in my speed like we ain't the same speed that's at the time he was, and, Ken, and Drake was like yo Kanye is more the guy I'm trying to you know what I'm saying go up against okay uh, fast forward to now. Um, oh, 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 so, so let me, let me, let me give it to you. Let me give it to you like this. All right. Complex compiled this. Okay. Complex compiled this. And I think they did a relatively good job with this. I, right? if, 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 you know what I'm saying, if it'll pop up, I, I'm trying to pull it up here. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Uh, all right. So complex has broken down why Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake and J Cole. All right. Um, and, and, and mind you, I like, let's not like, this is not about let's murder each other. Although you might listen to the lyrics and be like, it sure sound like that. I'm just saying, I don't think it's about that. I think let's just, you know what I'm saying? We're keeping this on the rap game. Okay, rap game, battle game, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kendrick Lamar, this is what, now Complex Music, so I'm reading what Complex posted. Complex posted said, it, it goes, what did Kendrick Lamar say and what does it mean? So here's the beef, all right? Um, uh, Kendrick said, well, I think this is clip three. So uh, if you could play, uh, um, uh, clip three, please. Niggas talking about when this gonna be repeated. What the fuck, bro? I don't wanna wait for Michael, nigga. Beat, nigga, beat. Alright, so, so that's, um, let me see. Is that the Drake joint? That's, yeah, that's the Drake clip. Alright, look, look. Clip three was a Drake clip. Now, Kendrick Lamar said this. He said, Father Muck the Big Three, Ninja is just Big Me. I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Ninja, Prince outlived Mike Jack. So here's the thing. Um, Complex posted, Kendrick overtly rejects the concept of the big three narrative that positions Drake, Cole, and Kendrick as the three best rappers alive, choosing instead to crown himself as the lone king like he's done before. He also craps on Drake's discography by calling his best project a light pack by slyly using Drake's affinity for Michael Jackson against him by likening himself to Prince and another musical, uh, who is another musical legend that lived longer, all right? Now, um, Complex posted why 
did Kendrick Lamar come after Drake and Cole now? Okay. Uh, I'll take a look at this clip with, um, this is clip five now, Source. This clip with Drake and J. Cole. Take a look. With, at two, to the two giving flowers to each other. I think I want to say. Okay. Okay. Tampa Bay, while I'm on the stage right now, and Drizzy Drake is in fucking Tampa Bay, Florida, can we please get this man this fucking flowers right now, please? Let's go! Go fucking go! All right, so Complex says, um, so why did he come after Drake and Cole now? On tour together over the last few months, Drake and Cole had given each other flowers on stage several times, and their number one record, First Person Shooter, features a hook that focuses entirely on how Drake and Cole are as big as a super cup, okay? Kendrick hasn't dropped any new solo music since, Mr. Morale and Big Steppers, and given how active Drake and Cole have been over the last two years, the conversation of the big three has become more squarely focused on the big two, which might have fired up Kendrick's uh, competitive energy, all right? That's how they, that's how they, they put that together. Now, um... Complex asked the question, why do Kendrick and Drake have tensions? Okay. Now, um, it says the Cold War between Drake and Kendrick have been bubbling for a long time now, dating all the way back to 2013, when Kendrick dropped control and Drake seemingly sent a subliminal at him. Later that year on the language, I don't know what they, um, he said, I don't know what they've been lying, but your ish is not that inspiring. That's what Drake said. Kendrick immediately shot back during TDE's BET Cypher. And Kendrick said this, this is clip seven, source, uh, take a listen real quick. Yeah, and nothing been the same since they dropped control and took the sense of the rap with that and his pajama clothes. Ha ha, jokes on you, high five. I'm gonna pull your shots and... Okay, now lastly. Complex posted, they said, why did Cole get this too? I mean, like, was his, was it, like, how did he get roped into this, okay? Um, let me see here. It says, Kendrick likely sent shots at Cole because of his proximity to Drake on 2023's Evil Ways. Cole raps high up in arenas where they see they faves, AKA me and Drizzy Drake, we the wave. Uh, Complex says, this could be perceived as Cole leaving Kendrick out of the conversation. However, while Drake made a point to emphasize how he and Cole are at the top of the rap game on, on First Person Shooter, Cole makes sure to acknowledge Kendrick on the same song, saying, Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey? Or is it me? We the big three like we started the league. Uh, so let's, let's see uh, clip nine. Hopefully it'll play. Take a look. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started the league. But right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. All right, so, so that's what they got going on. Now, in the midst of all that, looks like Metro Boomin has made a statement. Now, I think Metro Boomin has had his fair share of um, tension with Drake as well. I think it was Metro Boomin. If I, uh, hopefully I'm, I'm quoting that correctly. But I'm almost positive I did a story on Metro Boomin not too long ago um, having an issue with Drake. And uh, let me see here what we got here. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, Metro Boomin made a statement. His statement goes... Um, now, this is what the statement he said. He goes, once you pick a side, stay there. Hashtag, we don't trust you, okay? Once you pick a side, stay there. So the question is, who did Metro make that statement to, okay? Folks are saying that, um, I, now I went to the comments because I was like, okay, this is getting a little tricky. I'm gonna see what the consensus is. Here's the, the consensus of the um, of the comments. One person says, uh, and this got 7,509 likes at the time and it's reading is 445. It goes, this beef between Metro and Drizzy is difficult for 21. This is Bevan.csa. Bevan.csa, he said. This beef between Metro and Drizzy is honestly difficult for 21. Who y'all think 21 is gonna ride with? Okay, so um, so I guess the consensus from a lot of people is that 21 is who that message that Metro was throwing, throwing out. Metro was throwing a message out for 21, saying, "Yo, when you pick when you pick a side, who you gonna stick with?" Okay, and um, that's kind of that's kind of where it looks like. <laughs> Okay, I look, I'm looking at the comments. Somebody said, "I wonder what side Killer Mike is on." Okay, other folks are saying, um. um 
uh, uh, F that I'm gonna support Cole and Kendrick They ain't diss me uh, 21 uh, Somebody said 21 watching his parents Fight into a divorce Why they, why they saying stuff like this So I don't know man um, <laughs> uh, Somebody else said 21 Savage is a child of divorce What are they saying all this for I don't know I don't know um, I don't know I don't know if Drake I don't know if 21 Savage has to pick a side. Some people are like, nah, when you pick that side, you go against me. That's how some people operate. Other people are like, yo, I pick my own side. I do what I want. Like, you know what I'm saying? And if if, if I choose whoever I want to rock with, you know what I'm saying? Like, that don't involve you unless there's some personal situations going on. Meanwhile, Future's on the side. And the lyrics that I saw that Future said, can I even um, pull up the... Let me see if I can find the Future joint that he said, what he said. Let me look. All right, I found it. Uh, I think it's Say Cheese that posted. All right, Say Cheese posted the lyrics of Future's verse, right? Uh, now, now, mind you, let me just throw this out here. Well, well, I heard pieces of the song. I didn't fully hear the song. I'm about to hear the song on the way home, man. So I'm about to, I might have to come back on the story tomorrow. But uh, uh, Future said, uh, you a ninja number one fan, dog. Sneak dissing, I don't understand, dog. Pillow talking, acting like a fed, dog. I don't need another fake friend, dog. In your feelings, why you playing, dog? Can't be by the hoe, cause we sharing, dog. Give her back shots while she laying down. Keep the Glock cocked, I don't trust hoes. Top shot, I go on for the gusto. Like a real dog, I don't mutt hoes. Get the load, you a John Doe. Bubble eye bends on a hoe. Rapping so pretend, you a hoe. <laughs> um, Rapping so pretend, you a hoe. I don't know. So, a lot of people are thinking that... Um, Future is clapping at Drake, and this is over a girl. All right, uh, the internet detectives are no joke too. I, every time I be thinking like, man, they don't, like, they, man, these people just, just, just talking. This might be real. It'd be true. I'm not saying this is, but I'm just saying. Um, and a lot of people are thinking, and some people are thinking like, yo, maybe you know what I'm saying Drake and Future might have been messing with the same girl. Yeah, you know I mean, and and then and, and then the girl told Future that Drake is pillow talking. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, let's get And finally All this time I was like, man, these artists are behaving themselves And Kendrick was like, oh, watch out, I'm here He was like, give me the mic uh, uh, I almost want to stop right here Should I even give you this story about Beyonce? Clapping back Nah, 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 nah. We're giving you the Beyonce joint tomorrow Because we're not doing that today, alright um, Let us know your thoughts in the comments below About Drake, Kendrick, are you taking the side? Are you on your own side? Who you really want to agree with? Um, what's going on? How you feel about this whole situation, man? You like what side are you taking? Usually, I take my own side, <laughs> and um, I really don't like. I don't. I don't like. I think I'm gonna take um, Kendrick's side. <laughs> okay, look, I got my. Own, I'm on my own side, but here's the thing. The reason why I got issues with Drake, I I don't like. Um, I don't like what Drake, Drake. What I feel like Drake is promoting in the culture. I just don't feel like I like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I like Drake. And here's the thing, man. And, um, promote. I don't. Fi Let me finish my sentence. I don't think I like what I see Drake promoting in the culture. Okay. Uh, does Drake have excellent music? A lot of times, his music is sonically sound. Like his his music sounds hot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie about that. I so I like the way his music sounds. Um, some of his songs are hot. So you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even deny, bro, that uh, he's clever. He's witty. You know what I mean? So I give him that too, you know what I mean? But I just don't like some of the things that I feel like I, I feel like I see him promoting in the culture. And um, but that's another that's another topic for another day. You know what I'm saying? And then you could be like, well, what about what this person said? What about what that person said? And what about what Cardi is saying? And what about what such and such is saying? Yo, man, can I like I'm just telling you what what you know what I mean? Um, I'm sure he, look, he might be a great person. He might be a great person. I don't gotta like everybody's TPS reports. You know that, right? I can like the people and hate their TPS reports, okay? I, there are all kinds of workers that I know that I be looking at their work. I mean, what the hell is this? This is trash. If some people, they, I'm cool with them at work, man, and they see my work, and they're like, yo, you wrote this, bro? Like, yeah, I did. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? Is it, it got a problem? You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Um, do you have to love a person's work to be cool with them? Um... Or, or, or is it different in this realm because you know that their work is what gets us to know them or like what you think some of y'all I, I was gonna say some of y'all may like my work but not like me but that would be impossible because everything that I'm I be this is just what I am you know what I'm saying like this is how I am like if you met me if if you down with what you're hearing 
you just would be getting this like in a classroom like I, I'm talking about kid in the corner right sitting over there you know what I'm saying like this is what this is what, this is what class is like <laughs> let us know your thoughts in the comments below be sure to like be sure to subscribe man thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source your source for celeb news <laughs>